Welcome to version 3.7. Apparently this is the hardest spiral to have ever happened. And you know what? I agree. Not only are there nope. some very frustrating mechanics nope. in this spiral, there are a lot of enemies with shields you have to break, so that means you have to bring a particular type of team. However, as a Yoimiya simp, I knew I had to beat this spiral with Yoimiya. This was an awful idea. With much struggle and many, many hours of recording, I give to you how Yoimiya clears the hardest spiral of this. Okay, so for chamber one, the first half, you're gonna want some AoE swirl probably going on here. Yoimiya really struggles with AoE damage, so we're gonna wanna go with Virgin here. So this is gonna look like a very whale team, and for that, I apologize, but we're gonna go like this here. You can probably substitute Nahida for just any Dendro character, like you could use Dendro Traveler, and that'd probably be A okay. For Venti, if you have Kazuha, that works also just as well. Uh, Sucrose you can probably manage with. Obviously we're using Yoimiya and then Yelon you can just replace with Shinkcho. Everybody has Shinkcho. If you don't have Shinkcho built, you should build Shinkcho. Alright, so I guess today we've got energy recharge. We'll take that. Who really cares? Okay, so we're gonna start with capturing them all in 4k. Set this up. Then we're gonna grab Yelon. Throw up our burst. And now we crowd control. Now as soon as we shoot, boom. There goes all of our virgin damage. You can see how they're just kind of getting shredded apart. I'm gonna let Yoimi throw in a couple attacks. Throw this down. Then we catch them all in 4k again. Yelon. And bada bing. Lather, rinse, repeat. Catch them. Do this. And really, this is just how you do this, just over and over again. Uh, you might have noticed that my Yoimiya is slowly but surely getting her ass beat. That is A okay. A uh, more skilled player would not be letting that happen. But I don't care because I have to reset. Oh! I, I suddenly care a little. Editor, also known as me, cut to the part where we actually succeed on this. Throw this down. Nahid up. Use Yelon to reposition, throw this over, and that's a wrap! Easy peasy. Easy, easy peasy. Okay, so for Chamber 2, there's a lot that goes on here. Obviously, there are the Abyss Lectors, and there are also the Abyss Mages at the start, so you really need a team that focuses on breaking shields. Yoimiya is not super great at that, so we're gonna have to give her some support. If you're a real gamer, you can do Virgin Yoimiya with like Kira or Nahida. We really want to break the Hydra shields, which Yoimiya is going to struggle against, so it's best to play a Cryo support. In that case, we have two options, Diona and Layla. Diona gives you a little bit more flexibility, a little bit more room for failure, so obviously her burst heals you. Uh, Layla has stronger shields, and also she breaks shields faster with her skill, and her burst is very good at breaking shields as well. I'm personally going to use Layla, but I think you could get away with either. Obviously, since we're going to bring Yelon or Xingqiao or Vaporize Yoimiya, that leaves us with one more spot. We're gonna bring another character who can help with breaking cryo shields a little bit better, so we're gonna bring Shang Ling. And so our team looks like this. I wanna just grab Morgana for the first half real quick. Okay, this one's the run. Hi, editing sore on here. As you can probably tell, this took a number of tries, and while I did explain what I was doing in the first run, I got tired of explaining it every single run that I had to reset, so I'm just gonna explain it in post. So first things first, with the Abyss Mages, we're trying to hit both of them at the same time, so we're getting in between them so that Shang Ling's Burst can hit both of them. But the big thing is we're trying to get rid of the Cryo one first. There's a couple reasons for this. One, it's just easier to break a shield with this team. But two, because of how Layla's Burst is going to be targeting, we want to make sure that there are less targets. So we need to get rid of the Cryo one first because obviously Layla's Burst isn't going to do anything to it. And then the rest of the attacks will hit the Hydro one, which is what we're trying to do. Now obviously while we're fighting the Electors themselves, Layla's Burst isn't really doing much for us, so we're just going to keep that energy charged up. The big thing to remember here is that because you're getting hit by Cryo and Hydro attacks, it's very easy to get frozen. And some of the Hydro Electors attacks do slow down your cooldown, so it's very important to dodge the Hydro ones in particular. If you're using Diona or Layla, it doesn't really matter if you're getting hit by the Cryo ones because your shield is going to be very effective in blocking those. So focus on dodging the Hydro ones so you don't get frozen and you keep your cooldown short. Since Yoimiya is single target, you really have to be manually correcting your targeting just so that you get all of them to their shield phase as quickly as possible. It's much much faster to get their shields broken if you have all of them in their shield phase at the same time. And even if you're using the Shimanawa set, it is good to use Yoimiya's burst against the shields because obviously you aren't dealing damage anyway, so even if you don't get the bonus it doesn't matter, and Yoimiya's burst does a lot of shield damage multiple times. Aside from that, just get a good run, make sure to position properly, and uh, best of luck with this one. This is definitely the hardest part of the spiral.
All right. And look at that. Now we just have to worry about this guy. By the skin of our teeth, we got it. See, the awkward part is I actually just cleared the last chamber, but I gotta go back so I can do the first side with Yoimi and Neo. I'm switching artifacts. I'm grabbing the noblesse oblige set from Diona's paws. I'm giving my artifacts to my new favorite cat. I probably have up on screen some text that says I accidentally gave Kirara the wrong artifacts. Yeah, I do. Anyway, the idea here is just Burge and Yoimiya. I decided to prove a point by not using Nahida and say, hey, you can do this with four star units. It made my life significantly harder, but we did manage to do it. Of course, we're using Kirara because she gives you a shield. Honestly, you could probably just replace Kirara with Diona or Layla and then have Dendro Traveler instead of Palay for a better reply. But considering I had double Dendro, I was like, hey, I'll take the extra damage. Spoiler alert, but we're also going to be using this team for the third chamber's first half, so uh, look out for that. Chamber two is just a DPS check, so honestly, there's not a lot to talk about. Yoimiya go burn. There's so much happening on screen. Oh my gosh. Hello? I didn't even know you could summon things. I've never seen that before. Is it because I'm hitting you with Dendro? Is it like a Dendro specific thing? I've literally never seen that before. I did not know that was a thing. Yeah, nice. Oh yeah. Heh, <laughs> loser. Let me take that energy. Alright, so for this half, you really don't need to do a whole lot, honestly. Like, this team works just fine. Yoimiya kills things very quickly. Bup, bup, bup. EPS check. Yoimiya does that. Not the cube! Not the cube! Die, you fool! Why do I do this? Why do I waste my energy? Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that half is very, very easy. Yoimiya just kills them. Same goes for the Iniquitous Baptist. Okay, so how quickly can Yoimiya kill these things? Just to prove a point, I didn't bring Nahida. But let's go. Let's see how this goes. One minute, 37 seconds later. No! But yeah, basically your prime objective here is to just get like within two minutes or so. Uh, the other half is pretty easy. It's just a DPS check. So hopefully we just have characters who can single target and mow them down. Yoimiya is not very good at this side though. I will be honest. Okay. Take the corner. Come on. Come on. Okay, we can start first in here. I don't want to take too much damage if I can help it. So let's just do this. Okay, 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 okay. chill, bro. We didn't even hit the other one, that's so embarrassing. Very cool. And now you might be thinking, that's probably not enough time. However, you forget that this is a single target enemy and we have Yoimiya. Now you have to remember, you have to wait for it to spawn, okay? Don't waste your, your Yelon or your Shincho, okay? Hey, nice shield, bro. Oh my god, you almost killed Shang Ling. But you did it, bitch. You're gonna look to regret that. Okay, except you won't. Except you won't win, bitch. Whoops, oh my god, I'm really messing up my cancels. Oh, nice pyro shield, bro. Did they make it for men? Just do this yoinky spoinky a couple times. 
Oh, you're out of shields? You're out of shields? You're out of shields? I'm not out of damage. I'm not out of damage. I'm not out of damage. Hey, let's go! Okay, so actually we were two seconds off, but... Obviously this is just a demonstration you can do both sides with Yoimiya. Please don't do the first half with Yoimiya. Anyway, there are better teams you can use. These are just some pretty accessible ones. Have fun, go at it. Yoimiya can clear the hardest content in the game. You can always make your favorites work.